Hemorrhage is the most common cause of shock and trauma patients, and so the classification of hemorrhage into four classes, based on clinical signs and symptoms, is a useful tool for estimating percentage of acute blood loss. It is also important to know that the normal adult volume of blood is approximately 7% of body weight. So, for example, a 70 kilo male has a circulating blood volume of approximately 5 liters. Here are the four classifications of hemorrhage for a 70 kilo male. One of the first things you'll notice on this chart is the volume and percentage of blood lost. It is pretty intuitive to see that as the classifications of hypovolemic shock increases, so does the amount and percentage of blood lost. Other key trends to notice is that as the hemorrhage worsens, urine output decreases. This is a result of hyperperfusion of the kidneys and can be used as a surrogate for hyperperfusion of your other organs. Respiratory rate tends to increase as hemorrhage worsens, likely as a compensation for the resulting lactic acidosis from the hypotension. And of course, blood pressure decreases as the bleeding continues, while heart rate increases as a reflex in order to increase cardiac output. I know this is a lot of information, but if you are crunched for time, key points to take away from this chart are that in the setting of hemorrhage, Class 1 is essentially normal. In Class 2, you begin to notice some tachycardia. In Class 3, you start to notice hypotension along with worsening of the tachycardia. And in Class 4, you get to see a worsening of all vital signs. But a good hint that you are in Class 4 hemorrhage is that the patient would seem lethargic if not completely unresponsive at this point. Three. 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 Oh, I'm not a writer. Okay. <laughs>